Hoop and Falls finally made it here. There's another world down in this valley in the Ottaway. Um, I've shot a few waterfalls in Queensland, um, some of the prettiest, but by far, I reckon this could be one of the most stunning waterfalls in Australia, just my personal opinion. Um, quite an easy access, you've got a car parked up maybe 500 metres, you've got to come down some steep stairs, but other than that, you don't have to walk um, 20k to a waterfall like you do in Queensland. You're greeted with this. So I'm going to set my camera up here and take the um, platform image just here, looking up at the beautiful waterfalls. Yeah, probably go from there, jump the railing. I'm not, not meant to, but I'm going to jump it where everyone else stands. I'm not going to walk into the actual foliage or undergrowth. I'm just going to stand there and take an image. So let's sit up here first. Set my camera up. Um, finally, it's used my wide angle lens. I've been doing a lot of woodland photography. So my 20 mil I broke out, took an image for that. Now I've got my 14 to 30 mil on, extra wide. Ultra wide, what he's on the foot, and always use a um, circular polarizer when coming into uh, shooting waterfalls, especially after rain. All the foliage down here, the trees, the uh, all the dead um, branches, dead fall, it's all wet, it's got moss on it. So, using a circular polarizer, I can cut out that glare and get an image. Right, straight up, first one's easy, one second, F11, I saw 100. Take this, chuck it up for you. Don't to jump the barrier. <laughs> Uh, so when you walk down the path here, uh, the first obvious image is from the viewing platform. And then uh, you're technically not meant to jump the, the railing. Uh, it says that, I'm gonna be honest with you, I did. Obviously I'm uh, down here. A lot of people do. Uh, I'm not gonna venture into the uh, actual um, vegetation itself. It's, it's, all, it's all like a dirt path here, so a lot of people come. Um, do I recommend it? Probably not. Uh, it's up to you, I'm doing it. I uh, came all this way, wanted to shoot it. Yeah, so my second composition, I've been looking on Instagram and there's not too many places you can shoot from this waterfall. So a lot of the, if you've seen this uh, waterfall before, it's probably a lot of the same same, uh, simply because it's dense bush. Uh, there's a creek here, so you can't cross that. Um, a lot of people get down in the creek and shoot up it. Of course, uh, I've seen a couple around this one and I really like just looking through these uh, to our fern trees here, looking straight through, catching the uh, waterfall behind. So uh, I've got a uh, circular polarizer on. It's been raining. All the uh, foliage and trunks and what have you around are wet. So I'm just using that to cut through it. Um, yeah, and hopefully give it some really nice shots. This one uh, currently is one second. I don't like to shoot waterfalls longer than probably one second. So it works out alright. Um, F10 ISO 100. I'm going to play around with those settings a little bit. I uh, might do a foreground shot and then one for the background and then just uh, one single exposure. And I've said it many times before, that way you can cover your bases. You can um, play with them in uh, Photoshop, blend them. There was a little bit of wind out there, so I'm going to go back out and take another shot. One for the foreground of the ferns were blowing a little bit the one second exposure so that'll look blurry in the foreground but yeah let's take this shot and see how it looks so i'm getting quite kind of low as i want to look through these trees and up so i'm gonna probably move left or right a little bit play around here and see which image looks uh which looks best and uh yeah we'll go from there
move to the right of that center, center frame limit. And I got these fallen logs uh, down, in the, down in front of the wall, uh, composition here. And I'm using my circular polarizer just to cut that glare off the, um, the logs. Uh, as I said, it rained quite a lot overnight. So everything's wet and it's popping. It looks really amazing. I'm really liking this composition. It's got these ferns in the foreground. And of course the logs are popping. And then it's um, centered off, well, it's framed off to the left of the frame with this uh, fern tree. And then this gully of ferns up, up the uh, right, right hand side of the frame. And then leading you up into the waterfall. It's absolutely spectacular. So yeah, I'll take you through this image uh, in the camera, show you what I'm looking at. Yeah, so I've got this fern tree here. This could be the image of the morning. Um, might get down a bit lower, but I've got this fern tree here on the left hand side of the frame and these are the logs deadfall i'm talking about in the foreground all these ferns in here leading you up through the image to this waterfall absolutely magnificent looking scene out of jurassic park like i mentioned before and then to the right hand side of the frame we've got all these ferns so giving a real nice composition here a zigzag up through the frame and leading you into the waterfall i'm going to take this image now on the top of that stern. Just climbed down in the creek bed there. Didn't want to um, vlog. A bit, bit uh, sketchy getting down in the creek. But yeah, I took one down low shooting up the creek um, and up to the waterfall. Another classic hoop and fall shot. I'm going to chuck that one up for you. Catch my breath. Sit up there and take it all in. Oh man. Sensation. So here we find myself back at home. Um, after that last image, it actually started raining quite heavily, uh, downpour, down that little valley. Uh, and the walkout's not, it's not too hard, it's just straight up and out. So it takes a good, probably seven, eight minutes, uh, for me, probably 12, 15 minutes. But yeah, it's a lot of stairs and it's straight up and out. So uh, with all that downpour, I had to pack all my gear away uh, and get out of there quite quickly to the car. So I didn't have time to do a send off or a thanks, but um, yeah. Hope you like the uh, video and the images. Spectacular place, um, the Ottaways. In fact, next week's video, I travel down the road 5K to a redwood, California redwood forest here in Australia. There's actually two California redwood forests in Australia and another one's on the east coast of Melbourne. But yeah, um, stay tuned for that one. Uh, yeah, and again, I hope you like the video. Have a great week, guys, and I'll see you on the next adventure.